Grand Theft Auto 6 has generated an enormous amount of hype for a game that hasn't even been fully revealed yet, but it could be wise to proceed with caution when it comes to expectations for the title. Rockstar Games has been known to deliver in the past. The studio's most recent major venture, Red Dead Redemption 2, is one example of widespread acclaim, which might make Grand Theft Auto 6 seem like a sure bet. Examining wider circumstances, however, reveals just how much potential for disappointment the upcoming title could hold. One side effect of the excitement for Grand Theft Auto 6 has already revealed itself in the leaks that have sprung up surrounding the game, showing off material from the game from a point where it clearly isn't ready. The response to these leaks indicates how out of proportion some expectations have become, as obviously early gameplay footage was met with the kind of backlash best reserved for a legitimately disappointing final product. If standards for a work in progress are already that high, it's hard to imagine a finished game that could meet the standard that some of the community has created. The long wait for Grand Theft Auto 6 has been a major part of the mounting anticipation for the game, with a decade having now passed since GTA 5 initially launched on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Although the time in between has seen plenty of updates to Grand Theft Auto Online, the numbered series has never had a hiatus close to this length in the past. This is far from the only major franchise to slow down in the HD era of games, but few games have had interim periods this long with quite so many eyes on the affair. Looking at the minority of other titles that have experienced similarly mounting expectations over long development cycles, it's easy to see how Grand Theft Auto 6 could end up falling short of this high bar. Kingdom Hearts 3 is one such game which met with positive reception but still managed to disappoint many fans who had dreamed of a perfect successor over the 13 years and change that had passed since Kingdom Hearts 2. The eight years that passed between Cyberpunk 2077's announcement and its 2020 release resulted in a significantly more intense disappointment, with a variety of bugs and performance problems serving to compound frustrations with its inherent limitations. One major exception to the pattern of long gestating games that couldn't quite match expectations was Red Dead Redemption 2, a triumph that Grand Theft Auto the 6th of May have some trouble living up to. Although Rockstar has long been widely considered to be a great developer, the Grand Theft Auto games have rarely met anything close to universal satisfaction. Grand Theft Auto 4 traded in some of the charm of San Andreas for a focus on serious storytelling that pleased some while disappointing others, and GTA 5 struggled to live up to either of these high standards while pushing open-world gameplay further as its main focus of innovation, Red Dead Redemption. The 2nd of May be the best example of everything coming together in one Rockstar title but it's unreasonable to expect that the studio can pull together another package that is close to perfect in Grand Theft Auto 6. It's certainly fair to acknowledge that the game shows Rockstar's capability to deliver something exceptional, but Grand Theft Auto faces its own set of challenges that could exceed anything Red Dead Redemption 2 had to wrangle. Although the odds of Grand Theft Auto 6 failing at its basic goals are low, delivering them with the same level of aplomb may prove equally difficult. The biggest challenge for Grand Theft Auto 6 lies in the difficulty of building a major city to modern open-world standards, a more daunting proposition than crafting an engaging take on the American West. Cyberpunk 2077 works again as an example of compromises made in the service of this goal, with most of its buildings serving as facades in a city that can feel disappointingly hollow. Grand Theft Auto 6 has a precarious balancing act to manage in order to build a city with the right balance of interactivity, one made all the more challenging by the technical demands of rendering a dense environment of that complexity on consumer hardware.
Although it's easy to look at Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 as the last relevant points of comparison for GTA 6, there are also some less promising references to use. The 2021 remasters of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas are a clear example of a disappointment, with an inconsistent art style change and a host of bugs making for an overall inferior experience compared to the original games. This work wasn't done in-house at Rockstar, but the company still signed off on a subpar Grand Theft Auto project. Grand Theft Auto Online also exemplifies some concerning trends in the franchise. Although it isn't strictly pay to win, unbalanced PvP drives plenty of microtransactions and makes the game less fun than it could be while developing it into an incredible cash cow for Rockstar. The studio thankfully isn't likely to inject monetization into the single player campaign but it's entirely possible that a Grand Theft Auto 6 online mode could end up receiving more priority in development, a smaller concern for free-to-play users to ensure a steady flow of shark cash card purchases in the future. None of this is to say that Grand Theft Auto 6 won't be a good game, as Rockstar is unlikely to ship a product that doesn't represent its generally high standards for open-world experiences. Assuming it will be revolutionary across the board, however, is only likely to lead to disappointment. Grand Theft Auto 6 could have plenty of surprises, good and bad, and managing expectations for the game is the best way to end up enjoying it when it releases.